Do you know the uh, the the marriage problem? It's uh, optimal stopping. Yes. So where it's an optimal dating strategy where you uh, do, you, do you remember? What yeah, I think it's like something like you 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 know you've got like a set of a hundred people you're going to look yeah. through, and after how many do you? Now, after that, after going on this many dates out of a hundred, at what point do you then go? Okay, the next best person I see is that the right one? And I think it's like something like thirty-seven percent. Uh, it it's one over E, whatever that is. Right, which I think is thirty-seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna fact check that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, but it's funny under those strict constraints. Then, yes, after that many people, as long as you have a fixed size pool. Then you just pick the the per, the next person that is better than anyone, anyone you've seen else before. You've seen, yeah. Uh, have you this, have you tried this? Have I'm, you incorporated I'm it? I'm not one of those people. I'm at, uh, we're, and we're going to discuss this. I <laughs> and <laughs> what do you mean those people? Uh, I try not to uh, optimize stuff. Um, I try to uh, listen to the heart. I don't think I'm. Uh, I like my mind immediately is attracted to optimizing everything. And I think that if if you really give in to that kind of addiction, that you lose the the joy of the small things, the minutia of life, I yes. think. I don't know. So I'm, I'm concerned about the addictive nature of my personality in that regard. Mm -hmm. In some ways, while I think the, on average, people under try and quantify things or try under optimize um there are some people who you know it's like with all these things it's a you know it's a balancing act i've been on dating apps but i've never used them i i'm sure they have the data on this because they probably have the optimal stopping control problem because there aren't a lot of people that use social like dating apps are on there for a long time so the 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 interesting the interesting aspect is like all right how long before you stop looking before it actually starts affecting your mind negatively such that you see dating as a kind of um a game a, a kind of game versus an actual uh process of finding somebody that's going to make you happy for the rest of your life mm. that's really interesting uh they have the data i wish they would be able to release that data uh, and i do want to it's okay data. cupid right i think they ran a huge huge study on all of their yeah, they're more data driven, I think. Yes. Okay, Cupid folks are. Yeah. I think there's a lot of opportunity for dating apps in general, you know, even bigger than dating apps, people connecting on the internet. I just hope they're more data driven. And it doesn't seem that way. I, I think, like, um, I've always wa I've always thought that um, Goodreads should be a dating app. <laughs> like, the, the, <laughs> I've never used it. Uh, the Goodreads is, uh, Goodreads is just lists. Uh, like books that you've read okay. and it allows you to comment on the books you read and what the books you're currently reading. But it's a giant social network of people reading books. And that seems to be a much better database of like interests. Of right. course, it constrains you to the books you're reading, but like that really reveals so much more about the person. It allows you to discover shared interests because books are kind of window into the way you see the world. Also like the kind of places people you're curious about, the kind of ideas you're curious about. Are you a romantic? Mm -hmm. or are you cold calculating rationalist? Are you uh, are you into Ayn Rand or are you into Bernie Sanders? Are you into whatever? Right. This, and I feel like that reveals so much more than like a, a person trying to look uh, hot from a certain angle in a Tinder profile. Well, side. and it would also be a really great filter in the first place for people. It selects for people who read books and are willing to go and rate them and give feedback on them and so on. So that's already a really strong filter or probably the type of people you'd be looking for.